Welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. My name is Tom Fotios and today we got this beautiful 68 Charger RT. This is a real RT and also it's a real black car, numbers matching motor, but here's the cool thing. This one has been resto modded. Absolutely gorgeous car. If you look down the side of this car, it is poker straight, um, beautiful lines and just absolutely well done. A lot of modify, uh, modifications have been done. Suspension, motor, it's got a 440 with fuel injection, absolutely stunning. The interior is absolutely beautiful. All the gauge rings and everything look like they're brand new in here. Um, interior looks brand new. All the lights in there work as well. Just a stunning example of an awesome 68 RT. Door shut great. Let's take a peek in the trunk. Beautiful trunk, as well as we have some uh, subwoofers over there as well. It's got a beautiful Bluetooth system in it for your own listening. All the bezels around the tail lights are brand new. All the chrome, everything looks spectacular. This is my favorite part on the 68's rear tail lights. Check that out. Really clean door lips everywhere. Remember at Vanguard Motor Sales, we're non-consignment. Every car in here has been hand-picked by one of our professional buyers. In fact, that's where Greg is today. He's out buying some new cars. Give me a call anytime at 248-974-9513 and we'll help you park your dream in your driveway. Let's go for a ride in Bob Probert's 68 Charger. You want to talk about cool? This is cool. It is not cool that we still don't have Bob Probert with us. That is very sad. He was one hell of a hockey player, man. I tell you what, when I was a kid, he used to actually hang out at some of the bars we used to hang out when I was a kid. Very, very cool man. Had a lot of fun watching him play hockey, and I tell you what, he built one hell of a car. This is numbers matching, guys. Listen to this, baby. You want to talk about cool? This is one badass machine, and we can deliver it anywhere in the world. You just give us a call at 248-974-9513. Tom will explain to you how easy that process is. We can also help you out with financing. The bankers will take care of all the paperwork. You don't have to do a thing, but make that phone call. Now you can see down here on the dash, all the gauges are aftermarket, but they are located in the stock positions. They look like they belong there. The radio looks like it belongs there, but that's aftermarket. The heater and air conditioning controls look like they belong there, but those are all aftermarket. The steering wheel looks like it belongs there, but that's billet specialties. And it's a tilt column, guys. Very cool. The AC ducts, everything looks like it belongs there. Very, very well done car here, guys. And it's numbers matching and it's a 68 and it's a black car this thing is cool as can be and you know what we can park it in your driveway 
Now, we would love to have you come check it out in person. So please, if you've got time, hop on an airplane, jump in your car, whatever you need to do, we would love to meet you. Even though we do sell about 95% of our cars sight unseen, please come visit us. We'd love to have you. Or send your inspector. We'll treat the inspector just like we treat you. Now we're about to do something nobody else in the industry does. We're gonna put it up on the lift so you can see the bottom. It's just as nice as the top. We're gonna pop the hood, take a look at that. Numbers matching 440. We're gonna show you everything you need to see. So stick with us. We're gonna do that right now. All right guys, this is the underside of our 68 Resto Mod Charger. Uh, a lot of cool things under here, so we're gonna go through it a little more slowly than normal because there's a lot to see. Um, so starting off, the big main obvious thing is it has an aftermarket fuel cell in it, as you can see. Very nicely done, all TIG welded and brushed. Very, very nice. Um, on either side of that, we do have a set of uh, really nice resonators. This whole exhaust system on this car is custom, as you're going to see it as we're going through. Very nice TIG welds, very tastefully done too, and very well tucked, symmetrical. All good stuff for people that are, you know, fans of nice fabrication. Um, so, and like I did say, it is V-banded everywhere, so it all does come apart, which is really cool if you really plan on wrenching on it. But outside of that, it's just really nice, uh, really well done. So, as far as the rear end goes, we have an 8 and 3 quarter Mopar. Um, we do have, looks like, a set of stainless brake lines. Looks like they're the uh, pre-bent set, which means everything is nice, just as it would have been from the factory. Um, one thing that's not factory, though, about this rear end is it does have a set of uh, Willwood four-piston calipers on either, either side of it, which is very, very nice. Uh, you can see the drilled and slotted rotors here, and they actually took the time to actually uh, put mechanics wire and everything so nothing loosens up, which is very cool. Um, another thing they've done to this car is they deleted the uh, leaf springs, as you can see. We have a set of four links on this thing, so uh, bottom and top, and the top ones are fully adjustable. Heim joints, all good, nice stuff here. And to take the place of the suspension, we have a set of Ride Tech uh, coilover, fully adjustable uh, shock and uh, coil spring here, which is very, very nice. Once again, Heim joints on bottom and top, uh, very, very performance-oriented stuff, which is all nice. Um, and you can see here, when this car was frame off or stored, you can, uh, I mean, rotisserie restored it being a uh, unibody car. You can see here that they have all brand new hardware, everything here, it all shows up very, very nicely. This car is really, really slick underneath. It's gonna be one of the ones that you'd like to uh, make sure you get underneath it every now and again and to clean, keep it clean if you do plan on driving this thing a lot. And you're probably gonna to want to given the way that it drives. I've been told it's very, very nice. Um, another thing that I'd like to point out here is we do have an um, aftermarket fuel line here for um, the EFI that uh, is up top there and we're gonna to get to that in just a second. Uh, moving past all of that, you can see that the floorboards are in beautiful shape on this car. Um, very few modifications except for, you can see here, we do have a subframe rail connector and it's very well done. You can see that they have it all tied into the frame or the floorboard here. So overall, very, very nice worksmanship on this and it's very, very strong. You can see up inside there, very thick stuff. Um, I like to see all that type of stuff. Uh, brand new brake line here, no big surprise. Uh, moving forward of all of that, this is where our torsion bars would go. They have been deleted and we're going to get to that in just a second. Um, as far as transmissions go, this is a Mopar 727 um, torque flight transmission. Um, this is the numbers matching transmission for this car, which is also very, very cool. It's, uh, to me, it's, very, it's surprising that they actually have all of this resto mod stuff going on, but they managed to keep the original drivetrain, which for me is just A1. Um, once again, here are the V-bands that I was talking about earlier in the back. Uh, full length uh, headers here, which are very, very nice. No dents, nothing going on with them that I wouldn't want to see. Um, we do have an aftermarket oil pan on the numbers matching 440. We're going to get to that once again in just a second. Now, you heard me mention that we did have the uh, torsion bars removed on this car. As you can see, they have uh, this matching coilovers up here, fully adjustable, just as the backs are. Nice tubular lower control arm, tubular upper control arm. Willwood six-piston or uh, yeah, six uh, disc brakes in the front, drilled and slotted rotors as well. Like I said, they did safety wire everything, so you know that they took their time. Um, your tie rod ends here, of course, Heim jointed. Everything is, once again, uh, nice and adjustable. Rack and pinion steering here, which is very nice, and it is a power rack and pinion steering, and very, very petite for, for what it is. Very, very cool. Um, looks like they've got a whole lot of nice, uh, they spent the money on the steering, the geometry, and everything. Very, very nice. Once again, I can't, I can't uh, preach enough that this car has a very, very high uh, level of build. Um, another thing, too, that this car has is an aftermarket uh, member up here that all this is bolt to, all this is aftermarket. Big Hank and Sway Bar. I mean, overall, very, very nice, very high build quality. Um, I guess let's go and do a wheels and tires. So over here, we do have uh, 
forge line uh, set of uh, aftermarket wheels on this thing. I believe, they're, believe these are 19s, if I'm not mistaken. I want to find a size. 245-35ZR19, Z being a speed rating, which is exactly what you'd want on this. And of course, massive set of brakes. You can get a good look at that Willwood six piston uh, caliper there. Very, very nice. And something else you could take a look at while you're underneath here is the paint job on this car. It's beautiful. Black shows everything. And as you can see, this thing has got a, a pretty nice paint job on it. Moving to the rear. A little bigger wheel back here, a little bit more meat. Uh, back here we do have, I'm sure this is a 20 inch rim here, if I can find me a size. Posse's working. 295-30-ZR20. Once again, Z being a speed rated. A little bit bigger, a little bit fatter. Overall, very, very nice. And once again, we have Willwood four piston uh, calipers back here. Uh, that all being said, let's go take a look at the power plant. All right, guys, under the hood here, this is where the magic happens. This is the numbers matching 440 for this car. Now, it has been modified tastefully. Um, it does have a Edelbrock uh, intake manifold on it, and uh, on top of that intake manifold, you really made a, make a uh, reference to it underneath here, that has got a Holly uh, EFI system on it. So uh, the carburetor has gone away. We do have this uh, EFI setup on the car as well. Now, something else that this car has, which is really nice, outside of the excellent workmanship, and I mean, you'll see it all over this car. I um, mean, you can look at the spark plug wires are all nice. It does look to be a stock type distributor that is in this thing. Nice dress up kit on the motor, the original color here. Another cool thing they've got on this thing, you can see this blacked out serpentine pulley setup here. Very, very cool. Once again, you look at the way that everything is routed. This car just screams high build quality. I mean, for heaven's sakes, they even have like these fancy shrink wrap style um, hose clamps here on your radiator hose. They even have a stainless line here for the, the overflow fill. I mean, it's like you get or the overflow for your uh, radiator. It doesn't get much cooler than this. All TIG welded up, nice black aluminum radiator here. Um, electric fans up front, I'm assuming that's the thermal switch for them there, so it should be just like a modern car. Uh, they just turn on when the motor gets warm, shut off when it doesn't, or when it uh, cools down. You can see we've got the firewall back there is in excellent shape. Uh, it does look to me like um, this car does have power brakes, but uh, it does not have uh, a manifold uh, fed power brake system. There's actually a pump and a can underneath this fender. I didn't say underneath, but I did notice that it was down there. Another thing that's really cool about this car is it does have an aftermarket wiring harness on it, and it is absolutely beautiful. That's one thing that I'm a big stickler for. It's clean wiring, and uh, this car's got it down to the T. Everything is all the ends are shrink wrapped beautifully. It's all in this nice sheathing here. And this isn't that cheap stuff that you can slide over stuff, you know, slide over a, a wiring harness. You have to make the wiring harness with this sheathing, which means that someone really gave a damn when they put this car together. And you can look all over it, and it's you, you'd be hard pressed to start finding flaws with it. So that all being said, guys, you got to come in and see this one. You have to drive this one. This is one of the ones that's a cut above the rest, I promise you. Give Tom a call at the number below and let Vanguard Motor Sales Park this dream in your driveway.